Kelly from the Crafty Art Shack and we're back here today with another challenge video for you and it is called what would you make and all these items have to be made out of wood and so let's get on with the video and see that and I'll tell you about the host and the co-host and all the other ladies on the playlist in just a few minutes so let's get going and here we go with DIY number one. Now this DIY is going to be a picture uh, holder. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of wire and I'm wrapping it around that little cylinder block to create uh, the little wires that hold pictures. And you see that there. Then I'm going to take that sign or that piece of wood and that's one I got off of another project and I'm going to glue four of or two of those little cubes down but first I'm going to go and put some red for my door and yellow for my uh, windows and this is just regular old cardstock. These actual pieces came from the Dollar Tree in their little bag. And I make sure I put one over each window in the yellow and then the red for the door. And then after I get all those pieces in place, I'm going to take me some of those little twigs from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to take me some little um, of those skewers and I'm going to make the little X on my little door. And then I'm going to trim it out with those little wooden twigs. Now before I put on those little twigs, I decided to go ahead and do all my doodling on my little house and I'm making it look like a little wood house. And then I'm going to take and glue those little twigs down. Now you can get these out of your yard or from the Dollar Tree, wherever you can get them. But I put them on the roof line and I outline the door and this is so cute, you guys. This little house and these little trees both came out of the same kit and it was a kit for uh, doing a 3D Christmas and I'm going to just color these trees in with my posh marker then I'm going to add some glue and put on uh, some glitter and I'll do the same for the house. Then once I get everything done for the house and the trees, I'm going to take my block and I'm going to stain it with the stain that I got from, I think it was Lowe's. And it is a bluish stain and it was only 50 cents. So I picked it up because that was a great deal. And I'm going to stain this whole block in those little cubes. Then I'm going to glue down my Christmas tree straight to the block and I'm going to glue my house to the little cubes so that it stands out. Now this little block had a hole right here so that's what I'm going to put my little uh, wires in. But first I'm going to put three little beads on there and then I'm going to pull the beads up and hot glue each one of them down at different points and you guys this is so cute. Now we'll get back to that in just a minute but this is an open challenge and it is what would you make and it's hosted by OK at Home DIY Repurpose My Way and Connie's Creative Creations. You guys go check out these ladies channels and check out the playlist in the description box below because there's a lot of other people that are participating in this challenge and you should check out their videos. There's some awesome crafters. Let's get on with DIY number two. Now this DIY is a little wooden spindle on a stand. I don't know what it was used for. I found it at the thrift store. It was marked 99 cents and I'm sure I only paid uh, 50 cents for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and cover the bottom of this because we don't want to get paint on it. And we're going to paint that little spindle white. Now I did paint my spindle with Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of ribbon and I cut it long enough to go around my little post and I'm going to take and fray the edges of that and that's what you see me doing here and this is going to be our little scarf because we are making a snowman. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take another piece of that ribbon and I'm going to glue it to the top of this little post and this is going to create my little toboggan for my little snowman. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of a cotton ball, roll it up and make me a little uh, 
uh, ball at the end of at the top of his hat and you guys this little guy turns out really cute now I'm gonna take a piece of mop head uh, and I'm gonna create his little band around his toboggan and then after that is done I'll trim it up and we'll move on to the next part for this next part I'm gonna take my ribbon and kind of scrunch it up I'm not going to scrunch it up all the way out to the ends. I'm just going to scrunch it up enough for it to wrap around my little post so that it looks thinner around where his neck is and then it gets larger as it goes out. So you only put glue and just just in the center of this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is draw my little eyes on. I'm going to paint me a little toothpick orange and make that his nose and I'm going to put on his little mouth. And then I add some embellishments to the bottom and we'll see this at the final reveal. Now at this time we'd like to thank our subscribers for subscribing to my ch our channel. We love you bunches and here we go with DIY number three. Now we're going to take one of these trucks that I got from the thrift store. It was marked 99 cents. I got it for 50 cents and I am going to take off uh, the, all the little wooden pieces on here and make sure that I don't splinter anything so that I can use some of them when I go back to finish this. Now I am going to cut those little pumpkins off and they will not be on this project at all. Now for this next part we're going to take our tin pan and we're going to cut out the running board and we're going to cut out the bumpers and the hubcaps and we're going to cut a little piece to go in where that little slat is right behind right where the door handle is. We're going to cut a piece for there and a cut, cut a piece for the door handle. Now we're going to take one of these oops paints that I got for a dollar that's like a brownish color and we're going to paint the little rails that go on the back of the truck. Then after we get the little rails painted then we're going to take our blue stain and we are going to go and stain this whole truck with that blue color stain. Then after we get it uh, stained, then we're going to take a piece of that metal to cut for that little slat for the door. We're going to take this white piece of cardboard and that's going to be our window. And then the silver part is going to be the shine through for the handle. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and paint both of my fenders with that um, brownish color for the fenders and I just paint them one solid color and then I'll go back and highlight them in a little bit. Then once I get those done and I'm waiting on them to dry um, I'm going to take my little circles that were my hubcaps and I'm going to put the little silver circles from the tin pan on those to be my shiny new hubcaps. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on painting in all my little wheels solid black and I'm going to use you could either use the black chalk paint but I use the black multi-surface paint because then I'll make the tires shiny which will make them look like they're rubber. Now the next thing I do is I take a piece of uh, mini blind and I take a piece of cardstock and I'm going to write on it warm winter wishes and I will uh, and I'll glue that down and I'll glue the fenders down and the rails down to the back of the truck. Before I glue those rails down I'm taking some black paint that I mix with water and I'm rubbing it all the way around the edges of these um, fenders because it's going to give it more of an authentic look and that's my shading for this project. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little sign that I have there that I haven't glued down yet but I'm getting ready to. Before I glue it down I decided I was going to make a little snowflake in there and I'm going to uh, just embellish this little sign just a little bit more. And then after I do that I glue the little bumpers down, the little wheels down, the little fenders down, and the rails on the back of the truck. Now I go in there and I do some doodling with my marker on my windows and then I'm adding some of this puff paint 
to the fender tops, to the top of the cab, and then I'm going to make a little design for the back of my truck. Uh, I'm going to take some of these Christmas garland ties and I'm going to take one of them and cut it into pieces. I'm going to take me some of this greenery and some of the silver, uh, looks like little trees, and the, those berries that are on the wire and I'm going to uh, twist them up around a pencil and I'm going to glue all of this down and some of those snowflake pieces and put it in the back of my truck. Once I get that together I built it all on that piece of um, mini blind or blinds so that I can glue it to the back of the truck and it will stay in place. I'll go through and check it for strings and make sure everything's like I want it and we'll see the rest of this at the final reveal. Okay you guys this is a what would you make out of wood open uh, invite and it is hosted by OK at Home DIY uh, repurposed my way is the guest host and the other host is Connie's Creative Creations like to thank them for bringing this uh, challenge to us and for all the other ladies in the playlist that are participating in this challenge. Y'all go check them out. They're doing some awesome crafts. Both these ladies and the ladies on the playlist. And here's all the other places that you can find us on social media. And here we go with the final reveal. We had so much fun here today making all these cute little uh, Christmas or seasonal crafts and I think these all turned out so cute and you guys go check out those ladies on the playlist and the host that are hosting this uh, challenge today. They are all doing some great crafts. Y'all go check them out. And we'll see you in the next video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's free and it helps our channel. And we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>